Did you know that in many states in the U.S., it is still legal to discriminate against LGBTQ plus people seeking housing, either to rent or to buy? Well, there's a bill in a committee in Congress that might finally be able to prevent this discrimination. And that's what we're talking about today. <laughs> I'm non bi fairy and this is Queer to Help. Specifically, this is the second video of the What's Transpired series, the series where we talk about policies and events that directly impact the LGBTQ plus community. If you have been around for a minute, you might know that we've been covering the issue of LGBTQ plus youth homelessness in the Queer to Help series. And since we're talking about housing, I thought it might be useful to discuss another issue that LGBTQ plus people face when seeking housing or trying to find shelter, and that's housing discrimination. Today we're going to be talking about a bill that may finally be able to end housing discrimination in the United States, the Fair and Equal Housing Act of 2019. But before we go into the bill itself, let's get some background information. This all goes back to the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which outlawed discrimination based on sex, race, color, national origin, religion, and familial status. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 was intended to provide equal access to employment and voting and public places. And, I mean, we can pretty obviously say at this point that it wasn't entirely successful. Today we're going to be talking about the bills that were able to come out of the progress made with the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Like the Fair Housing Act of 1968 or Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968. This new bill was intended to prevent housing discrimination for the protected classes determined by the Civil Rights Act of 1964. So what kind of discrimination did the Fair Housing Act of 1968 prevent? Refusing to rent or sell housing to a member of a protected class, refusing to negotiate for housing with a member of a protected class, making housing unavailable because someone is part of a protected class, setting different terms, conditions, or privileges for sale or rental, providing different services or facilities, falsely denying availability of property, creating or publishing notices or ads that indicate preference or discrimination for or against members of a particular class, charging different amounts for sale or rental of property, depending on a person's membership of a protected class, using different application or qualification standards, fees, credit analyses, or procedures depending on a person's membership of a class, evicting a tenant or their guest based on their being a member of a protected class, the harassment of a person because of their status as a member of a protected class, failing or delaying to provide the maintenance or repairs that your tenants need due to their membership of a particular class, limiting privileges, services, or facilities due to that status, discouraging the purchase or rental of a dwelling, assigning a person to a particular building or neighborhood or section of a building or neighborhood based on their being part of a protected class, trying to persuade or successfully persuading someone to sell their property because members of a protected class are moving into that area, refusing to provide or discrimination in terms or conditions of homeowner's insurance due to residents being part of a protected class, and finally, denying access to or membership in any multiple listing service or real estate broker's organization, again, based on being part of a protected class. And I know that we just covered a lot of different kinds of housing discrimination that a person may face. If you would like to see the exact wording of the bill, I've included a link to it in the description below. So go check that out. As you can imagine, this bill made a huge impact in the lives of many people. It was a huge victory, but there were some people that got left out. Let's take a look at that list again. Who were the protected classes? Race, color, religion, sex, disability, 
familial status, and national origin. You know what's missing? Basically the whole LGBTQ plus community. Gender and sexuality are not mentioned anywhere in it, but they may be with the implementation of the Fair and Equal Housing Act of 2019. Simply, all this bill does is add gender and sexuality to the list of protected classes. That's basically it. If you would like to see the exact wording for yourself, I've included a link to that bill down below as well. It's very short, it just says that they're expanding on that with these two additional classes. If you are currently facing housing discrimination, depending on where you live, you may be able to do something about it. Some states have extended these protections to the LGBTQ plus community. Let's take a look at a map from the Movement Advancement Project, which shows which states have provided protections and which have not for the LGBTQ plus community facing housing discrimination. As you can see, there's almost an even split of states that have explicit laws protecting these groups and states that have no protections in place at all. But everyone deserves to have these protections. It's a civil rights issue. So what can we do? Contact your representatives. At a national level, let them know that this bill is important to you. Maybe if they hear enough voices, they will actually get it through and it won't die on the committee floor. If you are a resident of a state that does not yet provide these protections at a state or local level, contact your local officials to let them know that this is important, that they really need to take the opportunity to protect the civil rights of the LGBTQ plus community. We can't do this without you. I'm really excited to see that people are trying to find ways to make progress and I'm looking forward to a day when we don't have to worry about whether or not we'll be able to find a home because of how we identify. But I think that that just about wraps us up with today's What's Transpired video. Let me know what you think of the Fair and Equal Housing Act of 2019. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, ring the little bell thing. We are so happy that you keep coming back to hear more about the issues that the LGBTQ plus community is facing. Because we can't make progress without everyone's help. I'm Non-Bi Fairy. This is Queer to Help. Live your dream life. Whew.